usually it's hot as hell you know you can't breathe because it's so humid your tits are sweating off like it's crazy anyways I want to um, update you guys on what I've been going through because I haven't been vocal about my situation with um, my marriage you know I've kind of been closed off and getting sound counsel from a therapist and getting counsel from God and I've been praying often and what I'm going through is really hard you know it's so tough like last year I filed for divorce and then I dropped it because I was going through so many pregnancy complications from placenta privia to preeclampsia high blood pressure to possibly having a stroke or a seizure or whatever a car accident it was just so crazy so I was like you know what I need to drop this divorce because this is just way too much for me to deal with right now while I'm pregnant so this year I entertained a divorce with Adam and I told him like look we just need to like break up like I can't do this anymore and he filed for the divorce the reason why I filed last year is because I just don't feel that love connection that genuine love in my marriage you know yes we built amazing businesses together yes we have an amazing life yes we have beautiful children but I'm missing that affection I'm missing that genuine love I'm missing that friendship from my partner you know it's more of a partnership rather than a marriage for me anyways and that is what I've been struggling with and it really does suck because everything else is so great in our marriage but it's just like you know when we first got together he messaged me on Facebook wanting to start a group of influencers who uplift and support each other right and I fell in love with him believing in me when nobody else believed in me you know what I'm saying and that's what I fell in love with and from there I just you know went with it because we were in grind mode like you know like what dreams can we fulfill like oh my gosh we're dream chasing together and then a baby pops up and you you know from there we were just doing the right thing you know we proposed we got married we purchased a home because it was the right thing to do for us anyways we come from two broken homes you know what I'm saying like I wanted to do the right thing or which I thought was the right thing right now I think that what we need is a separation we need to be separated from each other because in nine years we really haven't been able to miss each other we haven't been able to clear our minds and think about you know what we're going through so I just think that we need to be in separate spaces separate places and so that is what I'm working towards and since I entertain the divorce I'm gonna go ahead and find a place for myself and my children and my mom and my sister and figure it out from there because I just don't enjoy the fact that everybody else in our world is up in the air you know my mom's like okay are you guys good are you guys not good and every day it's something new and it's not good for my family to see and you can see it you can feel it you know energy is real the kids are starting to feel that energy and um we just need to work on what we're going through in separate places. Anybody can say, you know, you just work on your ish under the same roof and why do you have to leave? But I have to leave because it is a toxic environment. I live for my family, you know? I live to make my family happy, you know? But in this situation, I need to step away to make myself happy so I can get some clarity um, so I can figure out what I need to do next. So that's what I'm doing now. So you will be on this journey. I'm gonna be open about what I'm going through. So the next step is I need to find a place. And then after I find a place, you know, I'm going to seek um, a therapist. Even if we don't stay together, 
I believe that we still do need counsel to talk about our pain, our past hurts that we put each other through, and to be good parents to our children. We need to be on the same page, you know, we need to be friends. And so that's something that I'm going to seek. I do get therapy every single week for myself, but I believe that Adam and I need counseling together just so we can be on the same page when it comes to the children and for each other you know because I don't want there to be any bad blood between Adam and I like I love him of course I do but I'm just missing missing something that's important in any relationship now I'm here and it really is hard because I want to feel all the feels when it comes to my partner you know, and I don't feel it. The last romantic thing that he has done for me is Aya's gender reveal party, and that was amazing, you know, that was beautiful. Like, whenever I think about it, I wanna cry because it was just so amazing. It was so special, and, um, but I just feel like you've never done something like that for me, you know? I just don't feel the affection, I don't feel the love, you don't romance me, you don't tell me I love you, like when's the last time you told me that you love me? I don't know, so right now I'm just so confused on what I'm going through, you know, was it my mistake of falling in love with him believing in me, you know, is this all my fault, you know, like, I don't know, it's just so hard for me and um, that's a struggle that I'm going through right now. And it's really hard because, you know, we have three children together. And I feel so selfish. And I want to make it work, you know? And I want to get counseling. But can counseling lead us to build chemistry? Can counseling lead us to find genuine love you know for each other and it's really hard because it's just so hard is there anybody out there that has gone through something similar like um you feel like you know you have everything you have a beautiful family you know you have a beautiful home and you built all these businesses together but you just don't feel that connection and honestly I'm just gonna be 100 right now like I feel like I'm married to my business partner you know and um, it's just yeah it's just you know my reality right now and what I've been feeling Anyways, if anybody else can relate, if anybody else has gone through a divorce, a separation, like how did you handle it? You know, were you able to find happiness? Were you able to figure it out? Like I just need to know your experiences because I am going through a whirlwind of emotions and I don't know what to do, but I know what my gut is saying and we'll talk about my gut later on but um it's just a really hard situation yeah so that's what the girl is, is going through 2020 